guys it's felicia with happily ever after living and today i thought it would be fun to share with you guys my top 10 foods that i've been enjoying and what i found is really working for me on this 100 pound weight loss journey so so far i've lost about 35 pounds and i've gone from a size 18 in jeans to a size 14 but look at here these are getting to be too big <laughs> Yeah, so I thought it would be pretty fun to share with you guys some of the foods that I found that have really helped me and supported me along this journey. I'll just go through each food and I'll share with you guys some of the benefits of each food and why I love it and why I think it's working for me. I do want to say I am a healthcare professional, but I am not your healthcare professional. I highly recommend that you do research and that you find what foods work for your body. And also please keep in mind that I'll be including some of the benefits, but not like everything. That would be a super long video if I listed out or explained all of the benefits of these foods. So I'm just gonna do a quick little synopsis. Hope that's okay. All right, so first thing, salmon. I love this fish. It is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. It's loaded with B vitamins. Um, salmon is also good for lowering your blood pressure. So in my family history, heart disease is pretty high up there. So salmon is really good for lowering blood pressure. It's also good for decreasing inflammation. And there's a ton more um, great things behind it. But I love this because for me, salmon is very filling. I prefer salmon over chicken. However, if I'm like really on a budget, I'll just do chicken. But for me, salmon keeps me feeling full or longer. And it's just really easy to cook. It doesn't take that long at all. I don't know if you guys have seen my video where I cook salmon in the air fryer. I'll link it here. Um, but yeah, salmon is one of my favorite protein sources. My next favorite protein source are eggs. Honestly, eggs are not my favorite food at all. They're just loaded with so many vitamins and nutrients like vitamin B, A, folate. Just They're just loaded and they also help with your good cholesterol. So eggs is just one of those foods where, I mean, I think they're quick and easy. You can cook them in a gazillion ways. Like for instance, in the mornings, I love to have eggs like on rice cakes and then like for lunches i enjoy having boiled eggs i don't eat the yolk there's nothing wrong with the yolk every now and then i will eat it i just don't really like it unless it's pickled <laughs> um but yeah and then like for the evenings i love tossing eggs on a salad so eggs will be the second food next let's talk about my greens i love spinach and arugula this is actually a spinach and arugula mix i don't know if you can see it there um, they're just loaded in tons of vitamins and nutrients. Um, they're very filling and bulky. I mean, I love greens because they're lower in calories, high in nutrients. They're good for digestion. They're high in fiber. They're anti-inflammatories. They Greens are great for your skin. They're good for lowering blood pressure as well, as well as they're also anti-inflammatory agents. So yeah, another reason why I love my greens. And also you can do anything with these. Like you can eat them raw, you can eat them cooked, you can eat them in a smoothie. I just think they're so versatile as well. So my greens are next. I didn't include romaine with my greens, but I also love romaine as well because it's crunchy. I love that crunch in my salads. I also love romaine for like making sandwiches. You can just use a romaine wrap instead of using bread. Very low in calories. I think there's about like eight calories per cup, I believe. Actually, I could read, I'm not gonna read it. Romaine also has vitamin C, vitamin K, um, folate, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to mention. So romaine also has beta carotene, which converts vitamin A in our body. So that's pretty important as well. But overall, romaine is just, a, it's just really good and hydrating. So yeah, love my romaine. Next, let's talk about broccoli. So I absolutely love broccoli. I love to eat this raw or cooked. Um, and I think it's just so filling overall. It's so bulky and filling. It's filled with fiber. And you know, broccoli is also good for eye health. It's good for our immune system. Broccoli is also good. Ladies, broccoli is also good for hormonal health. I mean, do some research on it. You may be a little bit surprised. But yeah, so I also love my broccoli. Next, let's talk about berries. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys, here's some raspberries, here's some strawberries, and here's some blueberries. And I do wanna say that I'm not at the point in my 
um, 100 pound weight loss journey or my financial journey to where I'm able to buy organic all the time. But if you are able to buy, buy organic foods all the time, these are some of the things I would recommend that you buy organic. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today, I did it. But berries are also good too because they are filled with antioxidants. Berries are anti-inflammatories. They don't spike my blood sugar. Um, they don't spike most people's blood sugar, but I'm just sharing with you guys my experience. They don't spike my blood sugar. And you know, they're also high like in vitamin C. They're, I think I mentioned antioxidants. And oh, and they're also really good for your skin. So berries is another one of my favorite foods that I've really been enjoying on this 100 pound weight loss journey. And I found that I'm able to lose weight eating these fruits. Now, if only I were perfect, but I'm not. So, berries are ideal, but I also enjoy these two fruits, pineapples and watermelon. Now, let's be real here. Watermelon and pineapples, they do spike my blood sugar a little bit more than just the regular berries. However, I enjoy everything tropical, so give me all the fruit give me all the vibes give me all the sunshine that is totally me all the water all the waves let's go and again from the title of this video you guys saw that i'm talking about foods that are sustainable so i can tell you i'm not just going to eat berries for the rest of my life i will be enjoying my pineapples and my watermelon as well but i do tend to save them for after workouts so I tend to enjoy them on the days that I've lifted or if I've walked like over four miles or so, that's when you'll find me eating these. Next, cheese. I'm not going to go into details about how good and yummy cheese is. I'll just tell you guys that it's a good source for protein as well as fats. However, I do want to give the caveat that for some people, actually probably most people, um, cheese can be inflammatory. For me, I don't have issues with that, but for some people you could. So in that case, you could substitute your cheese with like avocado, which is also a great source of fat. However, for me, your girl tends to overeat on avocado. So I limit my avocado and guacamole. Like I just, I love it so much. So I have to limit myself, but I don't overeat on cheese. Sometimes, <laughs> most times. All right, so the final food that I want to share with you guys, again, this is for sustainable weight loss. It's popcorn for me. So before I started my 100 pound weight loss journey, I was probably addicted to chips. I'm not bad like as far as like cakes and donuts and all of that stuff goes, but I love crunchy things as you can see from the foods that I shared with you today with the romaine, the broccoli, the rice cakes. Did I share with you guys the rice cakes? Here I have rice cakes. I absolutely love rice cakes. And I'm not saying that there's anything healthy about them. They're just lower in calories than bread. And I love to use them as like a, um, like a bread substitute. I love, I really do enjoy having like peanut butter and bananas on top. Or I also enjoy putting my eggs in the middle with some salsa for breakfast. It is so delicious and yummy. So I'm not gonna try to convince you that these are healthy. They're just lower in calories and they keep me on track and they don't bloat me yeah the rice cakes so as you can see from the foods that i've already shared today i love a nice crunch and that's what the popcorn does for me i'm not even going to try to convince you that it's healthy what i will convince you of is that for me it keeps me on track you know whenever i have those moments where i feel like i want a cheat food a serving of popcorn or two tends to do it for me and it keeps me from you know, eating other foods. And sometimes chips can have a lot more calories versus the popcorn because I make these myself. So I'm able to control the amount of um, oil or fat that's used in it. And I'm also able to control the amount that I eat. So like sometimes with chips, you can find yourself sitting down and eating the entire bag. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. I highly recommend that you guys do your own research as I mentioned earlier, to find the foods that work best for you because I can tell you guys, I love kale, but with my thyroid issues, kale does not work well for me. I can also share with you guys that I love apples. However, 
whenever I eat apples, I tend to get extremely bloated. And it's not like the bloat where like, yeah, it's fiber, Felicia, that's why you're bloating. It's different. And I can also tell you guys that I love quinoa. However, quinoa does not work for me either, but it does not mean that those foods are not healthy. And it also doesn't mean that those foods won't work for you. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.